Okay, so before I start this video, I just want to say that this is my opinion, and you could take this as a negative or a positive about Warframe. I'm only here to give my thoughts on something that could be quite a cool addition to Warframe. Um, perhaps keep players interested in the quote-unquote late game. Uh, I remember the first time I played Warframe, um, I already tried it on release on the PS4, and I didn't really take to it. I was at my cousin's at the time. I don't really give it much thought until like a few years later. I was really, really bored. I was on my PC, and I was just, thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a go, and um, see what happens. And then I fell in love with it, and at first, for different reasons, uh, which I'll explain in this video, um, which is something DE could reintroduce in the game. Now, as the core mechanics are already there for what I'm about to propose, is already what gave me the idea for this video is I saw a video um, on the future content for this year because obviously it's the new year um, that players want and from people's perspective you know Fortuna, Eidolon um, they're great updates they are they are really really good um, I definitely played them for for weeks um, but only weeks really um, it only people's attention moved on you know it didn't really keep players playing it was content to burn through and now we burned through it you know it's like binge watching a game of Game of Thrones series season um, you know, nothing's really keeping players there except the grind, really. And after that, it's just fashion frame. And I know many of you saying, yeah, fashion frame is late game. But, you know, there are games that keep me coming back for other reasons than how I look. Um, it's not something, obviously, when people first start the game, obviously, late game isn't what they're thinking of because obviously they've got to go through all that content. Um, <clears throat> but there's, like, no real reward except you know, a hard to find leaderboard for a longest MOT survival. Um, I'm not really complaining, there's a lot to do, and I just want to reiterate that I love this game. I've spent over a thousand hours. Um, to some of you, that scratches the surface, and to others, there's already way too much uh, time put into that. What well, a thousand hours is way too much to put into any game. Um, it's just my opinion on the matter, I just want to propose a different change of pace right now. Um, as of this current patch, Beam Weapons, Atomos, Amprex, um, all of those, they were all supreme, okay? F F Sarin, any Warframe that like pushed the limit of the game's mechanics to the brink, you could only get so far when you min-max, and it just sucks the fun out of the game. Uh, the reason people come back to games like Counter-Strike, League, etc., is replay, re replay value. When it changes up between the same maps, um, characters, it's the story involved, that's that's why people come back and this brings me back to Warframe when I first started the game up I was immediately shown that my character uh, has still had so far to go like I was like, you know, I was just weak Lotus even brings up the fact that I cannot take Captain Vor yet um, I played through it again, I played through the beginning again just to see like if my experience was different now and it really wasn't um, the gameplay, like in essence, when you first like play it, it's like slow, methodical. You know, I had to choose stealth or fire firepower. It's that isn't really a choice in in the real game, because um, after a point, I had like two. Obviously, in that, I had like 200 HP, like max shields, health. I had to think about how I took enemies. Like stealth was rewarding, you know, because they could just turn and kill me. Now all I have to do, if I want to do like that kind of stuff, is slap a primed continuity on an Octavia, and bada boom, everyone is cloaked for a whole minute, so we can uh, complete the spy mission and get done with the sortie. Um Or Ivara pieces. I mean, fair enough. That's that's a reward, but it lacks meaning. You know, it. What I'm trying to say is, the mission itself lacks meaning. You could say I'm dragging this out as a point of I want more challenge. I mean, sure. This is the point, but like what I'm saying is maybe take the start of Warframe into consideration here. Like make stealth a rewarding experience again and not a waste of time or a survivability asset. Maybe lessen the horde style um, of fighting and lower the enemy count so there's less of them. But bring in some tactical gameplay because it's already there. I mean I'm showing you the beginning. Like that that's that that is something that you don't get in a normal game. Um, make the Grenier like not impossible to kill with their billions of armor. Make them as vulnerable as you are, but make them just as deadly as a race of cunning evil clones should be. Um, 
make different weapons and style was more appealing. Like, I could kill everything under one second, but imagine if you couldn't and your weapon choice mattered far more substantially. You know, your teamwork's, teammates had to work together more beyond frost shields and embers AoE and stuff, but you had to cover fire for each other. Um, the corpus aren't like mobs to be slain, but a nemesis, not spamming you with CC, but with tactics and strategy and grenades and stuff. Even at the beginning, when I, I got the sense of impact and grandeur Warframe had to offer on a galactic scale, I know, big words, I felt as though I was escaping Vor's clutches, like it was like roleplay, and maybe Warframe could bring that kind of like wow factor back. Um, War Within definitely blew me away when I played it, and for the first time, the sense of like great story being told, it had such a weight to it that my choices meant something to me as a person like roleplaying a Tenno. I'm sure at this point some of you have just told me, go play something else, um, this isn't Warframe, but these things are already in place is what I'm trying to, my point is it's already there, the game like drags you in, like there, that's that's what I'm saying, like it's just that, that kind of core gameplay is just behind this MMO light full of min-max players and overpower weapons that mean little other than what colour they are and what energy they shoot and stuff. My only suggestion is perhaps change the enemy AI up a bit, slow it down, make combat a bit more methodical. Um, DE could make an entire plotline out of it, that would be cool to see. Grenier have uncovered a new element to st slay the Tenno, you know, and it brings the players down a notch. Enemies, the, the combat is slower, but the gameplay isn't, you know. DE could turn it into a new game mode entirely, of course, adding, adding in new mods that didn't complement damage but instead complemented a gun's skill at being holstered its reload speed accuracy i know they're already in but like ha make them have weight instead of just having serration heavy caliber and split chamber on your primary every time you know it's 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 it's, it's, it's there's no like variety kind of thing um imagine using like cc in like not just for a tool of CC, um, impact for CC, but you could use heat to like burn the environment or toxin to create spores to kill enemies. I mean, I know what I'm suggesting is like a complete rework, but maybe they could just turn it into a game mode or something. Um, I'd be happy if only something like this got implemented, obviously. Something to bring like meaning back into like simple choices of like what primary I'm going to take, because if, as of right now, I could take my Supra Vandal or my Tenora or my Ak Vastos, um, but really why bother when I can just take my Atomos and just wonder waffle everything in my way, giving little regard to the enemy as they're just an obstacle in the way of my objective, which is the capture mission or something, you know, it's there's no weight to it, I could just jump through them because I'm God. Um, you could say that's end game, uh, like what I've suggested, because it brings everyone on the same playing field again, you know. Uh, the only thing that sets players apart is their fashion and their skill as being a, an actual warrior again, you know. Like having skills to actually kill these things rather than just one-shotting and everything. Anyways, <clears throat> I hope you took some shower thoughts away from this. Again, it's just a suggestion that would be cool implementation to Warframe, even if it was just a game mode for a short while and... Uh, I hope you enjoyed my ramble about one of my beloved games. Um, if you have any thoughts of your own, please feel free to put them in the comments and just to give me your insights to the subject of the future of Warframe. So with that, I thank you for sticking with me till the end and I will see you again soon. Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? Arsenal management could be restored if the operator wishes it. You honor Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better modified firepower. Oh, the violation. 
Those have been looted as well. We need to figure out what Captain Bohr has done to you and stop him. But we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Or just hopes the operator will punish the Grenier for dismantling it. The segment you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. The Ascaris is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. is equipped with a variety of security measures. How you defeat those measures is up to you. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. extraction with no alarms the segment is yours head to extraction as every moment passes the ascaris burrows deeper revealing you Orbiter Void Cloak engaging. Welcome back, Operator. The Operator has recovered a segment. <laughs> Install it now. Orders patiently awaits its installation. Get communications online. I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your Warframe. This technology is beyond the Grenier. It must be Corpus in origin. Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. Mm -hmm. 